Hi there, welcome to day two of the Muddy Fox build. So, today, my plan is to take this bike downstairs and uh, outside. I've decided I will whack this crank off with a hammer. Um, I'll probably put a dent or two in the crank arms, but I can't be helped. I want to get the bike done. On the crank side, I'll just tap it on this arm. And they should, with a few hard whacks, come flying straight off. And the way I do it, I'll take the bike down and I'll lay it on its side with the crank like that. And I'll knock this one off first. And uh, I'll hold, hold the frame about an inch off the floor and just give the crank arm a few hard whacks and it should come flying off. Uh, once I've done that, I'll come back upstairs and I'll have a go at getting the bottom bracket off. That's the game plan. So, so what I'll do, I'll uh, stop the video here and I'll uh, Talk to you again in a few once I've got that crank off. So, see you in a while. I'm back. The crank is now off. And uh, there it is. And apart from looking a little bit rusty and dirty, that wire brush up fine. Teeth are okay. There's a couple short ones there, but that shouldn't affect the crank. If there was more short ones like that on there, then I'd change the crank. Uh, but I think I can get away with it with this. So that's ready for a clean-up. Didn't actually do that much damage to the crank. A few chips on the inside there, where this groove is. That's about it. So, uh, that's good. That won't show when it's on the bike. So... Next job, to get the bottom bracket off. Now, I do believe my tools are in this bucket. I'm going to need my pipe wrench. And I'm going to need this one. Because what I'm going to do, because I think this is going to be a bit tough, that's got to go on there. That's going to drop straight off. So what I need, if I can find it, here it is, is a washer and the nut. And what I'm going to do is uh, place my tool on there, place the washer over the bottom bracket bolt, and then use that to hold the tool in place. So, I'll film that. Hopefully, I'll get you in, in view. I think that's close enough. So, we take the tool, place that on the bottom bracket, and using the washer and the bolt, screw that in hand tight. Because a lot of these steel bottom brackets pull out this way on this side, I can screw that down nice and tight and that'll stop this tool from falling off. That also leaves you with three hands to crank it off. Now it's the right side, so you've got to go clockwise to run the screw. Actually, so you can see, 
ันไม่ได้Up, but that really is disgusting, isn't it? So it's going to need a good clean. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the rear brake yet because obviously I've got to figure out how I'm going to make it work. I might have to do a bit of uh, custom work. I might have to take the shifters off to to uh, take the crank off. So I'll put them back on. Find a set of handlebar grips. Hopefully I've got a pair somewhere I can use. If not, I'll just have to wait. I've got a bicycle wheel to replace that one out in the cupboard outside. It's a six speed, but I'll just throw that seven speed free wheel on. And uh, I'll film that so you can see how I do it. I think I've filmed before, but no harm in filming it again. Get that crank cleaned up. New bottom bracket cleaned out. Bot new bottom bracket back in. Well, I say new, it's going to be a second hand one. But it's still usable. If it wasn't for that type of derailleur, I could have just converted it to a standard style bottom bracket. But I don't think I have a right hand cup anyway. But I could easily change the derailleur if I wanted to, but I don't think I've got a uh, derailleur that pulls from the top. I think all I've got left are ones that pull from the bottom, which isn't a lot of good for this bike. So uh, I'll have to be the other used sealed bottom bracket I've got. There's still enough life in it. 
I find the um, sealed bottom brackets are better anyway, they seem to last a lot longer. Well, unless they get left out in all weathers like that one, and get a load of rain and water inside it, and not used probably for a long period of time. Let me go this bright orange colour. Look at that. That's, uh, yeah, that's well and true. I can't even move that by my bare hands, look. Oh. It moved just with the crank on it, but that was very tough. You'd have uh, needed to have been the Incredible Hulk to pedal it anyway. Uh, oh, excuse my sniffing, that must be hay fever or something. Or the cold air. I know the cold air tends to make my nose run and that makes me sniff. And so I do apologise for the sniffing. Right, uh, I'm going to turn the camera off and get a bit more done. And I'll turn the camera back on to update you. So, uh, talk to you okay. A little update. Bottom bracket's been cleaned out. I've also cleaned up the front railing. Uh, so, uh, my next job is to fit the bottom bracket. So, this is on the table. View. You are in view. Good. Now, we'll take the dryer, the bottom bracket, stick that through there like that. Thread that on there. Now, this side, if you remember, is clockwise to unscrew, so we go anti clockwise to screw it up. Be careful not to cross thread it. That in, and I should be able to use this one bottom bracket tool that I have on a socket just to finish cranking this one up tight. I'm going to have 
to uh, go down to the shed and see what I've got in my tub of bottom bracket stuff. See if I can uh, come up with something. So, uh, we'll talk back again. As you can see, there is a bottom bracket in there. Just got to put the lock ring on. I decided I'd have to change the uh, front dryer. It's the only way I could get a bottom bracket to fit. So I have to fit a uh, standard one in. And the other job I've done is find a pair of handlebar grips up and fitted them to the handlebars. So that's ready to go. So all I've got to do is go in my box of drayers and try and find a correct one for this. Uh, put that lock ring on, clean the crank up, put the crank back on. Pardon me. And uh, we'll slowly be making progress. So, uh, put to hi there, back again. As you can see, it's dark now. Uh, this bottom bracket's been a pain in the ass. As you can see, I've got it together, but there's a very little bit of play in there, and that cap is screwed far too far in. Uh, in fact, I can only just get that lock ring on there. So, what I'm going to do, not tonight, because it's too late to bang around with a hammer now, so I've got these axles which are longer than the one I've put in there. So uh, we'll try these tomorrow and see if that helps. A couple of them on there. Just move those out of the way. Those bottom brackets could both go in the scrap box. So I haven't really done much because I've been a bit busy since I last turned the camera off. Uh, I'd like to uh, get this one done so I can get it sold and out of the way. Decided I'll uh, keep the black one that I did. Uh, Need to find a front drylier for it. And get that other part for that rear brake out of the box downstairs. Yeah, throw some cables on it, throw a seat and post in it and the wheels and bobs your uncle. That'll be another one done. So uh Yeah, I think that's it for day two of this bike. I don't think I've ever come across a bottom bracket. That's been as big a pain in the ass to set up as that one has. Never mind. I'll get there eventually. It's just a case of playing around with parts until I find a combination that works. So, uh, I'm going to end the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. If you have any comments and questions, you know where to put them in the comment section below. And so, until next time, see you later.